and we just walked through um, some of your machines that are that seem more modern and, and yes. you know recently purchased. But I know we're getting ready to stumble upon a machine that you're going to retire yes. when the young okay. man that's running the machine retires as well. So yes. you really have a mix of everything from a, a legacy machine right. to a newer machine, making sure that you keep up with the times but not tossing things because this young man yeah. can still get you within plus or minus one oh, exactly. manually. Can you tell that story real quick? Yeah, so you know we, we've, uh, we've had a, a, a plate that needed a series of holes, 80 holes to be exact. We all had to be a true position of 10. We felt comfortable on the machine and the operator. So <clears throat> when it was all said and done, uh, we, we, this part went to inspection uh, on the CMM. I had the inspector tell me in an in, in, in a, in a, in a, awe, saying, hey, who machined this? And, I'm, and I, my look was, well, why? What's wrong with it? You know, <laughs> right. That would be my first question, first, too. I go, why? You know, and uh, so the damn thing was accurate within 1,000 all the way around, X, Y. I go, well, we did it manually. And they go, manually? Because, yeah, and our runtime was with this operator. So the skill level and knowing the machine is really, uh, it, it, you, can't, you can't replace that. Um, so this is where we're at. So that's why we agreed uh, when the parts uh, and, 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 the, and the operator decides to retire, well, I'm going to retire the machine. I, can't, I won't be able to find a manual operator. We're going to miss him. Gonna, yeah, so that's why he's still around. So as we continue to 